Hey, what's up, guys? Thought we'd play around with something a little different tonight. And instead of looking at a circuit or anything like that, we would look instead at a RGB LED. And the makeup of it and what goes into putting them together, the chemicals, and all of that sort of thing. And then we're going to take a microscopic look into the LED and check it out with a new toy I got. <clears throat> a new tool that I have procured for the laboratory. That's what I meant to say. All right. So first of all, the way I have this set up, this is just a 5-volt rail. And I have individual potentiometers here for each of the three colors. So there's blue, there's red, and finally there's green. Knock my potentiometers out of there. So when we go in and look inside this you're going to see the three separate diodes are actually inside this little package. And it's really interesting, especially the blue. The blue is my favorite LED. And there, it's barely glowing. That blue LED is going to start to glow. It's going to start to conduct at about 2.35 volts. And you know, we didn't have really true blue LEDs until 1994, when a Japanese scientist... Uh, named Shuji Nakamura invented the blue LED or discovered it, however you want to say. He actually won a Nobel Prize for it. <clears throat> the reason the blue is, is such a difficult color to create is because of the incredibly high energy gap across that diode. And he finally was able to do it using a mixture of indium, gallium, and nitride. So this is an indium, gallium, nitride blue LED. Next we have the red LED, and there it's, you can see it is just barely starting to conduct there. And the red LEDs have been along for the longest time. Now this is the second generation of red LEDs that's using a mixture of aluminum, alumi, aluminum, aluminum, gallium, indium, and phosphate. And it starts to conduct at about 1.54 volts. Finally we have the green LED, which is very closely related to the blue LED, and it starts to conduct at 2.05 volts, and it's a mixture of gallium, indium, and phosphite. So you can see it's kind of a mixture of our blues and our reds. Pretty neat. All right, so I'm going to push this bad boy up here underneath the microscope and then I'm going to rotate up so you guys can see the microscope. Can I zoom out here? So this is my new um, digital microscope from Must Tool. It's a 4.3 inch LCD. Um, this was sent to me from our friends at Banggood. So thank you friends at Banggood. Very cool. Now let's take a look inside. We're up and running here. Now we're looking inside the LED, the die itself here. And I mean, I don't even think I have anything that's small enough that I can use as a pointer. Let's see, maybe this <laughs> bent leg of an LED. See, even the bent leg of an LED is too big. So here we can see the green side of the LED. And over here is the blue side of the LED. And here is the red side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply just enough voltage to the blue for it to begin to conduct. I have to go slowly here because I don't want to overshoot. Should be about ready to start conducting. There we go. Can you see that? The blue is just barely, barely lit. 
and I'm showing 2.35 volts on the Fluke uh, multimeter. And as we bring it up closer and closer to 5 volts, then it just swamps everything out. I mean, it's totally swamped right there. But if we bring it back down just to the point where, I mean, it's just barely conducting. And if we take a nice close look, you can see the bond wire right there and the semiconductor junction right there. It's just incredible to get up close and look at these things. All right, I'm gonna turn the blue off. Now I'm gonna bring the red on. The red's in the center, so keep your eye there. Okay, now there's the red just barely conducting. Again, very cool. And bring in my little pointer here and you can see there's the die there. There's what's called the anvil. And we're showing um, 1.56 volts here. And again, if I bring it up, you can see it glowing pretty good now at two volts, coming through three volts, four volts, four and a half, up to five volts, and bam, I mean, it's just completely swamped right there at five volts. And then back down to where it just barely conducts at about a volt and a half. Lastly, we have the green LED. We'll bring it up to the point where it just starts to conduct. Right there, we're seeing 2.067 volts. Again, there's our green LED, and there is the anvil. And what you're looking at, that square part there, that is the semiconductor junction, which for the green contains three regions of gallium, indium, indium, God, I can't talk, indium, and phosphide. So, I mean, that is just amazingly close. And I'll bring the green back up. And you can see it's going to swamp at four volts, four and a half volts. Boom. Then I'm going to bring the red up, too. See the red start to conduct there in the center? Bring it up. Boom. And finally, we'll bring in the blue. And with all of these guys massively conducting, we get somewhat white light. And I'm going to shut them all off. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, to me, that is just something truly amazing all right well that's about it i know this was kind of a short one but i thought it was pretty cool to take a look inside an led if you guys enjoyed this i hope you'll give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe i will do a full review and tear down of the digital microscope at some point in the future it is, uh, it is extremely cool. And I want to thank Banggood for uh, sending that our way. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.